After feeding, they return to their land and, it is imagined, breed. You actually imagine that? Eh. Okay, anyone who imagines something that creepy probably should not be trusted. Hey guys, Cyclonic Flame here, and welcome back to Broken Age. This is episode 2, and when we left off, we had discovered a little bit more about the ship of Shay, and we're supposed to be going on a mission to save some cute little creatures from destruction. But I'm going to give this story for a pause for a minute, because as I found out, if you go into this drop down menu here, we can actually switch into the other story. Now, I'm going to alternate between stories every single episode. I'm I'm just starting off with this story in this episode just so you guys know what I'm doing. So let's switch to the other story and see what's going on here. Bella. Okay, so my name's apparently Vela, I think. Bella. And I'm sleeping underneath the tree, of course. <sighs> Trust me, I've been guilty of doing that before and I'm surprised I didn't Guess get it's robbed. time to face the cupcakes. Okay, little kid, what do you want? There you are! I was getting worried! Worried that I chickened out? No! I know you're not afraid of anything. I mean, what's to fear? This is a great honor. Right! Wait, I can't tell if you're being serious. Well, there is one part that I'm really afraid of. What's that? I'm afraid that you won't get any food because I'm gonna beat you to the Maiden's Feast. Dream on! Okay, what's this all about then? Just Hello? Just skip all the running. Creepy dark house. Shh! Surprise! <laughs> Whoa. Yay! That's cute. There is my Valoria. Oh, look at my pretty girl. I can't believe. I just can't believe. Valoria. We're very Jeez. proud of you. I think that's what your mother is trying to say. Your name is a bit of a mouthful, oh, Vella. She's not even dressed yet? Can we do that after cake? Come on, cake first! All right, but come on. Let's get this good time over with. Oh, yes, cake. Now, where did I put that knife? Nobody touches that cake until I find the ceremonial knife. Ah. <sighs> Okay, so whatever this maiden's face thing is, I can already tell that the grandfather really does not like it. You know where mom's knife is, Rocky? If I did, we'd all be eating cake right now! Yeah, you seem a bit excited over cake, even by my standards. Don't suppose you have another knife in the back we can use? I do, but your mom brought out a special one she wants to use. She wants everything to be perfect on your special day. You know, the fact that, if it wasn't for the fact that they had already said Maiden's Feast, I would have assumed this was a birthday. Mom, I was just wondering, what if we fought the monster instead of feeding it? That's monster. my girl! Now that's beast ender blood talking! Please, my loves, don't make this any harder than it already is. <laughs> so the Maiden's Feast apparently involves a monster. Okay, talk to Lavina? What is it, girl? Any idea where mom's knife is? We're late. If I knew, I would have cut that cake, shoved it down your gullets, and had us out the door already. Oh. Can I ask you about the maiden's feast? Weren't you paying attention in maiden training? There's maiden training. How many of these feasts have you organized? Let's see. A new grand mog appears every 14 years, and... I'd have seen six of them, so... Hey! Are you trying to get my age out of me? I'll never tell. I'm writing that down. I'll flash that, the possible numbers up on screen later on. What is Mog Chathra? The latest in a long, distinguished line of Grand Mogs to visit our land. Distinguished? Well, anything that lives that long becomes distinguished. I mean, look at me! <laughs> You're really creepy and I don't trust you. 
Where do creatures like Mog Chathra come from? They come from beyond the Plague Dam. That's not sinister at all. I want to go beyond the Plague Dam someday. It's forbidden! But maybe you'll be lucky enough to be taken there soon in Mog Chathra's stomach. Okay, so this Maiden's Feast apparently involves a monster that eats girls? That's not a joke for the internet to enjoy. How much do we know about these Grand Mogs? The Grand Mogs have visited our lands for as long as anyone can remember. They hide in the wilderness for years, and then they come to feed. After feeding, they return to their land and, it is imagined, breed. You actually imagine that? Eh. Okay, anyone who imagines something that creepy probably should not be trusted. Why was I chosen? In every town visited by a Grand Mog, the villagers vote for the maidens who represent their town's best qualities. So in other words, beats me. Did you just insult me? Mog Chathra attacks other towns? Of course! Maryloft just had their maidens feast yesterday. That's how we know he's coming here next. <sighs> They're a pretty tough act to follow. Amazing feather work. Okay, I think I know all I need to know about the Maiden's Feast. All you need to know is how to look pretty in your dress. We'll take care of the rest. I think I know far too much about it. I'd better go look for that knife. And hurry. If we're late, you won't be selected and your family will be shamed. Okay. No, not there. Maybe the knife is under this towel. <laughs> Never gonna find it. Dad, I hope you're not hiding that knife for your own good. <laughs> okay then. Grandpa Beastender? <laughs> hey Gramps, want a cupcake? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do you know where Mom's knife is? <laughs> Wouldn't tell you if I did. I'm not doing one thing to help for this shame feast. Why do you hate the Maiden's Feast, Grandpa? Because this used to be a town of warriors. It's a travesty, Bella. Why'd we stop being warriors? Levina Clench and her ilk said there was too much bloodshed, pushed for appeasement. So we went soft, became a town of bakers. I'd better go find that knife. Don't you dare. I hid it for a reason. You did what? Oh, nothing. There's a towel here. Where the would I? Ah, why not? If there was a day to splurge, it's today. Give it to Grandpa Beastie and had it. For me? Split it with you? Deal. Here's the knife. Frustrating. Okay, he already took the knife back. Okay, so I need to grab another cupcake. Don't touch the red one! Mom made those just for me! Okay. You're going to eat all of those? I've already had six! That explains a lot. It does, Vela. It definitely does. Okay. So I think I need to grab the knife. For me? Split it with you? Deal! So he throws the knife on the counter. On second thought, you can have the whole thing. Suit yourself! Now, where did I put that thing? What thing? Uh, nothing. Uh, I didn't say anything. You mean the knife that I just took? Oh, where is that darn knife? Mom, I was just wondering, what if we fought the monster space? There you go. All right, time to serve this girl up. But first, can I ask just one more time? Honey, why don't we just kill Mog Chothra? <laughs> <laughs> here, here. <laughs> Grandpa oh, agrees honey. with me. Oh, we're going to miss your sense of humor. Okay, it looks like I'm gonna be in by a monster, apparently. Majestic to behold! 
awe-inspiring, powerful, mysterious. But Mog Chopra is more than that. Merciful and generous, Mog Chopra keeps our town safe. All he asks is may he pick some of our beautiful flowers as he passes through. Please come, Mog Chopra, and make your selections. Welcome to the Maiden's Feast. Show him what you're made of, fella. I know he'll pick you. This can't be right. I agree with you, Bella. No, it's not right. For one thing, I should be in the center. Sorry about that, I had center to pull. Center of mass, maybe. <laughs> oh, bird. No more ugliness, girls. Mob Chocolate responds to beauty above all else. Alright, I had to pause sorry. for a second there, I'm sorry. The beauty is nothing without a little heat. Uh. When the monster gets close, you can use your candles to burn its eyes. Don't distract me. I think I've got a chance to win this. Yeah. Hey, does that costume have any thorns we can use as weapons? It does, but they're made out of chocolate. Regardless, I accept my noble burden, not with apprehension, but with Joy, I give my life so that no harm comes to our village. No, I give my life. No, me. Sheesh, what is wrong with these people? Come here, little birdie. I have a treat for you. Hey, I've got a plan. I already have a plan, thanks. Attract Mog Chopra with my slender frame and be remembered forever as a hero. Well, good luck. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. You're making me hungry. I'm trying to make Mog Chopra hungry. These girls have it all backwards. Think it's attractive to starve themselves. Want to trade something for a bite of that drumstick? Hmm. What do you got? Need a towel? Nope. They taught us to eat daintily in finishing school. I'm warning you, buzzard! I'm gonna fuck you alive if you come near my food again! Hmm. How about the satisfaction of helping out a fellow maiden? Hmm. Sounds good, but not half as satisfying as this drumstick. Never mind. Hey, what do you say we break out of here? Trying to get us all to quit so you'll win the feast, huh? Well, it's not gonna work on me. I'm in it to win it, baby. You're in it to get Just eaten to by a monster. Bye. Alright. I hear him. Look, there he is. Holy hell, what? Is that thing? No, he's so majestic. Here I am, merciful King Mog Chopra, over here. No, this way, Great One. I am the one you've come so far to find. Over here. I am in blue. He's drawn to the flame, like a giant moth. What? No way! He's coming my direction! This Please, is not weird. Don't be hasty in your decision, my lord. Oh yes, take your time, look over all your options, and then after some careful consideration... Holy hell. Uh, hey, can I have a drink of that water? Hmm. Trade you for that sweet corset you've got on. Never can be too thin. This horrible thing? You got a deal. Ooh, what a relief. I feel so much. Oh, I'm sorry. 
This thing's just too big for me. Trade back. Oh, that poor girl. Don't be little me. That's oh, what you get. No. That should have been me. Right. Okay, here we go. That's right. It's my time. Oh, it's not over. Well, it's Ooh, glad I'm not. Want to trade something for a bite of that drumstick? Hmm. What do you got? How about the slimming corset? Why would I want to hide my best assets from Mob Chopra? He'll be looking for a full-size meal after his long trip. Fair enough. Never mind. Just wanted to say good luck. Bye. But he's obviously made his decision. Can I borrow that bottle one more time? Keep it. Thanks. <laughs> I don't need it where I'm going. Alright. <laughs> Is it saving the best for last? Man, this thing looks like... Wanna trade something for a bite of that drumstick? Hmm. What do you got? I have some Need bubbly. a towel? Nope. Yep. They taught us to eat dinner. Bubbly to wash it down. Well, thanks. Don't mind if I. Ah! Look at me. I'm. Want to trade something for a bite of that drumstick? Me too. I've got a towel here. If you throw me that drumstick. You have a towel? Why didn't you say so? Oh, <laughs> how long have you been standing there? Well then, this is getting serious. Are you part vulture or something? Uh, How can you think about here, birdie? Oh, come on! So close. Oh wait, I know. Knife. I could cut myself out of this dress, but without that bird, I've got no ride. Of course, on the bit. Gotcha. That's it. Flap those big blue wings. And nice. But not suicidal. Cupcake. You can have the bottom half. Nice job. Here, crazy <laughs> That's my girl. She's uh, beast in the Mob Chocolate's fury will soon rain down upon our village. Oh, no, you don't. Go, Betty, go. I must say the the cutscenes are really nice. How is that bird staying aloft with a decent sized girl hanging from his neck? Cute, there's a whole bunch of birds here now. Right, let's see where this leads me to be. At least she didn't have to wait until she looked down for gravity to take effect. Ah! Oh, chill bird, chill. Mr. Smooth. Well then, that's not creepy. Hold on, I'll talk to you. Hi, my name is Bella. What's yours? I 
am Walt Er. Walter? Walt Er. With an apostrophe, we admire lightness in all things. No extra baggage, no extra letters. I'm Chick. Who are you guys? Who are you guys? We're the preeners, of course. We take care of the nests and keep stuff floating. Super important. How are we floating on these clouds anyway? That's a good question. Volume. No, son. Try again. Jeez. Um, okay. Uh, circumference? Area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all about surface area. Pounds per square inch. You know, that actually seems a little bit legitimate. Well, I'll see you two later. Farewell. Stick to the paths. Stay on the twigs or you'll eat a pig. No freestyling, Chit. Sorry, Pop. <laughs> Looks like the explanation is going to have to wait until next episode. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel and you like the commentary, hit the like and subscribe down below. Tell me what game we're going to do next. And I'll see you on the next one. Yeah, it is.